Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd give you a status update of these uh, Nova Sun Digital Dream CNC controllers I uh, have here. Um, I mean, obviously they're not my machines anymore. But uh, I had high hopes for these things, man. I mean, they're definitely, it's a cool, cool idea, cool concept. You know, with the whole integrated sort of like board, all of one board. You know, you don't have, you're not emulating like a parallel port. You're emulating a parallel port, but it's not, you don't have a separate cable going from one card to another. Um, cool design. Um, uh, the main reason that I, I, I'm, I'm not using these is because the programming is not reliable. On every single one of these, programming is not reliable. Um, also, there's like a few different things. Um, I'll go through each card and I'll t kind of explain like what's going on with these things. Um, but yeah, I do actually, like I said, I do like the whole integrated thing. Um, and also, I'll go around to my CNC machines and I'll show you what I'm using now. But this is actually another little uh, Warp 9 board. So all my stuff now is kind of Warp 9 stuff. Except for my lathe, and I'll show you that. But this actually might end up going to my lathe. Um, but what I was saying is, like, the integrated boards, uh, you know, you don't have, like, a separate thing emulating a parallel port, which is then connected to, like, a breakout board. It's all integrated to one PCB, which I like. Um, okay, so let me uh, show you the first one. So this is an EC500 uh, version 5. And it runs the uh, the 1052 processor. Um, it's a different processor than the other ones. Um, but my issue with this one is I could never get it to work right in Mach 3. Uh, I could get the inputs to work, but I could never get any sort of motor output. So I could never get my steppers to move uh, or any sort of outputs. I checked my multimeter. I, I checked all kinds of stuff on the board to see if I was getting power or anything. But the hardware was actually fine because it actually worked in Linux CNC. Um, and I, I'd use this, uh, I'd flash this, my ST uh, link, you know, and I got it to work in Linux CNC without a problem. Everything works in Linux CNC. Step move, everything works in Linux CNC. Um, but one of my issues, I'm just like, I'm spending too much time with these controllers, man. I'm not, I'm, I should be spending my time actually learning machining and not actually messing with the controllers. It's like, I know more about the controllers than I do about machining. Um, but, um, alright, so this is the next one, uh, this was actually licensed for 6-axis, sorry, jumping around everywhere, um, this was actually the first one I bought, um, uh, bought this one on eBay, and it was supposed to be a 6-axis card, um, and it ended up being a 3-axis, so it says 6-axis on the label, but it's actually 3-axis, and, but I actually soldered on some, uh, header pins here. And that allowed me to flash Linux CNC and uh, work fine Linux CNC. But the same thing, the probing doesn't work. And uh, just kind of like odd, odd behaviors, you know. And, but sometimes like, uh, not with this one, but these other two. Um, not this one, because I never got this to work in Mach 3. But um, this one would just sometimes randomly lose communication with Mach 3. Then I had to like power this board off and power back on. But what's weird though is... Once I actually, once it happened one time, I powered it off and powered it back on, it was fine. So it's almost like I had to like warm it up for a little bit. Like I had to turn my CNC machine on for like about 30 minutes before I used it and it wouldn't happen. So it's almost like it sort of needed to warm up or something. So I thought that was odd. Um, Alright, so that was the uh, one I got on eBay and then this one I got on Amazon. And it was, uh, this is a EC300 version, version, version 3 I think. Um, Yes, I actually had the PC. I actually had the PCB open on, on a different video, and this is actually the one that was on my round column mill, and uh, I had it working with the MPG, the NV MPG, and like I said, I actually love this thing. It just it, probing was intermittent, and I almost killed my probe. I, I bent the tip, you know what I mean, trying to do like a like a Z height, you know. Um, but what's weird about it was just intermittent. So even though on the inputs page, right? I'm actually getting feedback from the, the probe. It wasn't probing. And I didn't actually have that problem with the, all my Warp 9 stuff, which I'm using now. I don't have any probing problem. Probing works perfect. So they got to figure that out. they got to solve that issue. But i got all these working in Linux CNC. And yeah, I'll work fine in Linux CNC. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep these things or sell them on eBay. What am I going to do with these things? Um, you know, I like playing with Linux CNC. It's cool, you know. Um, I mean, I work in IT, so I play with Linux all day long. I build, like, Linux web servers and 
different servers. Um, all right, let me show what I'm currently running real fast. I'll go through each one. And uh, all right, so this is my Sugami layer. This is like the first big piece of equipment that I bought. Uh, I think I bought this over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I mean, all the stuff I, I kind of did during COVID, you know. Um, all right, let me show you what's up. So this one um, is actually, uh, it's called an E-cut, and it's USB, and uh, it's kind of like a smooth stepper. I think the max step rate, pulse rate, is like 2 megahertz. Um, but actually you can tell it's a, it's a higher-end card. It's, it's an integrated card. You know, that means it's, it doesn't have a separate thing for the, it's not, it's not a converted parallel port to, to like a breakout board. It's an integrated board. But it's actually one of the very, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a reliable USB card. So this one's actually rock solid so far. Um, um, like I said, but it's a much higher end card. I, I got it on Amazon for 30 bucks. And, uh, but normally these things are like 275, 200 bucks online if you can find them. Um, but I think what happened was like when I bought the thing for 30 bucks, as soon as I bought it for 30 bucks, I think he realized he had it for too cheap. And as soon as I looked back to go buy a second one, and the link was gone. So, um, but yeah, USB is not typically that reliable, um, especially for the Nova Sun Digital Dream stuff. That stuff horrible. But if you want like a USB small integrated board that works fine, my first one I had was that little red card. The blue cards don't work right; they're they're unreliable. But the little red cards that actually have like the eagle on them, um, those things are actually reliable. Um, well, I mean, not as reliable as you can get for a 20 hour card, but it, it worked fine for my first little CNC machine I built, my uh, 3018. Alright, and then, alright, so then on the round column mill, which I just finished upgrading a couple days ago, um, this one I'm actually running a Warp 9 Ethernet. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's a Warp 9 um, with the CX or C25XP. From CNC 4 PC. I haven't actually uploaded a video about it yet, but I will. I mean, installing this thing. But this thing's rock solid and everything works. All access works, spindle works, the VFD works, probing works. Yeah, and that's, I mean, I just don't want to, I just want to be done with it so I can start machining. <laughs> yeah, the other day, man, I had to probe something and I was like, God, ah, I had to go back and eyeball because the probe didn't work. Annoying. All right, so then here is the uh, CNC router. So this is the first machine that I actually had a uh, Warp 9 board in. And uh, once I tested the Warp 9 and everything worked, it's, I, can, I don't think I ever can go back. I mean, it's a lot more expensive. Um, so the other one that I showed you, the CX25, that was a new card. It was like over 350 bucks. This one I got on eBay for 200 bucks, And it's a Warp 9 Ethernet smooth stepper. But this actually has the C82 board from CNC 4PC. Um, it's a bigger board, obviously. Uh, but what's funny, a, a, a lot of the functionality is the same. The, the, the input numbering and output numbering. Mainly for like the spindles and stuff, like the VFD control. But Alright, so what to do, what to do with these things. Alright, well I might keep them and play Linux and see some more of them. I don't know, not sure. Um, but... I don't know, I'm sure, I mean, because I've got other comments where I, tend, I said to be like on other videos, like be aware of these things. Um, if you're not, if you don't need to probe, and uh, I mean, I would stay away from the version 5s, but if you don't need to probe, I, I, I'd go with one of these, you know, the NVMs or the EC300s, non-version 5. I've heard nothing but problems with the version 5s. So, um, I, I can never got to work, but everybody that's left a comment on my videos about this thing, you know, said this thing sucks. Uh, the USB versions seem to like lose the firmware, um, and then they won't give you any firmware, right? If you reach out to them, they never get back to you, the manufacturer, and they don't give you any firmware. Um, so it's, you know, bummer, man. But, alright guys, cool, so that's what's going on.